Like you see sometimes somebody will be arrested and it'll be the 14th time that they've been arrested for drunk driving right. and they're still allowed to drive. If 14 they, times they don't go to jail. If you uh, get caught, it's worried that three times drunk driver. You can. They will just take your car and take a driver license. And, well, you can't take another driver license for at least like five years or something. It, it's, it's even worse in Germany. You get caught once and you never get to drive again. Well, yeah, they like, it's pretty like, hard. Right? Yeah, they don't see it. Well, and then, of course, nobody drunk drive. Drinks and drive anyway, so. Yeah. Bigger the punishments for the bad is actually probably not a bad idea. There's no people do it. The big problem with Sweden now is not drunk drivers, it's like drivers with that they can consume like, I don't know, some of other drugs, <laughs> like cocaine or smoke, very or something. quite the swastika like the well because Finland was on how typical Finland was on uh, <laughs> yeah oh like because if the US gave nukes to who like yeah. the US gave nukes to Israel and Turkey and which other countries they're using it as the Russians yeah it's it's ridiculous let's go see the planes Swedish Mustang. Swedish Mustang. <laughs> Well, then I wonder if that is an F-86, they just get a different name. Oh, yeah. Jeez. You gonna try it? Yeah, you should try it. Yeah. Success is about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? That's probably funny. I'm guessing you get 5 seconds and you crash. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. This is the air speed indicator. Ah, then you have it on the side, right in the middle. Oh, no, yeah, but. Now you can lift. Then 
up in the air, just have the normal gas, push it back. You don't have the one and two and three lighting up. Oh. You are saving gas and uh, you don't have the spin. It's saving up about uh, 400 kilometers an hour. Saving gas. <laughs> Oh, too much speed. Yeah, just, uh, oh, you got way too much speed. <laughs> no. You gotta, oh, uh, yeah. You gotta, you're not gonna really build a flare, you're just gonna climb. Uh, you must uh, dive up because you're gonna land in the woods. More. No, don't, don't, don't give it so much gas. You see in your uh, go, go. side, just uh, keep a straight line. Or you can land on the taxiway. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be an expensive wood. <laughs> now you fly up a little bit. Give it a little bit of gas. Now you turn to the left. All right. Just a little bit. No, you're good. No, just stay there. Stay there. Yeah. Land on the grass. Whatever. Jade, the you're more important than the plane. Yeah. All right, let, let the gas go. Let's flare. Yeah. All right. He landed. I know. <laughs> you can take taxi over to the, <laughs> <laughs> the runway. You look nice to your friend. <laughs> there we go. I'm on the runway. I'm on the dance floor. Did you die? Vertol. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What is virtual? What? what is this virtual a name or a word? Vertical? Yeah. Vertical? <laughs> no, it's a name. Japanese engines? All the ones I always have in museums are oh, always like really big. Well, they're not going to give up the plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they're not going to give a brand new, fu fully functioning one to a museum. No, I know. But I'm just outside. I'm just saying, though, you know, it's, they're always like really, you know, paint's always like really bad. Well, that's all they can afford. It's just old planes. Yeah. 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 You should see the ones at the Kremlin of Air Force Museum. No, why don't we go at the US and go all of it on the military? Little little stubby plane. <laughs> Reindeer. Julio! 